It's time to refill my restaurant kits and I can't wait to show you what I'm putting in mine. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and I am refilling our restaurant kits for both of my girls. I've used these little storage containers. They have a little handle on them here. And I purchased these at Daiso Japan here in San Diego. If you don't have them, you could use uh, little nylon bags. You could use backpacks, anything really, but this is just what I like to use. I have two girls ages four and two and a half because we all know that half is a really, really important number, right? I refill these every now and then when I notice they're getting a little bit antsy or bored with the activities. And some of these items you may have seen in some past hauls because that's where I get the things, at dollar store generally, or the dollar spot at Target. So um, that's where I get a lot of the stuff. And I'll try to mention where I did find it. This one is a Minnie Mouse look and find. And inside they have all of these things on the side here that the child should find in the picture. My girls love these and they keep them busy for quite a while. This was purchased at the Dollar Tree. Also purchased at the Dollar Tree is this sticker book. It has all these animal spots and you fill in the missing spot with the stickers that are provided in the middle of the book. I recently found this little spiral bound book at Lakeshore Learning, my ultimate mecca of learning activities. And it was just a couple of dollars and inside is a whole bunch of writing practice. So she's just learning how to write her letters. And so this would just be a great way to begin it. And she can color the pictures in here as well. And since she's gonna be writing, I put in a little pack of pens. She likes these gel pens. Those are right from Daiso. And to color, I include a little packet of crayons. I use these little pencil cases from Daiso as well, just to keep them all together so they're not all over the place. And then lastly, I have this little busy bag here. Um, these were purchased from Target Dollar Spot, I'd say maybe a few months ago. And they're little picture cards. And since she's learning beginning sounds and phonics, all she has to do is determine which letter is the beginning sound and take the clothespin and clip it right on. And so this one is nice because it only has one clothespin and a whole bunch of cards. And that way I don't have to deal with, you know, all kinds of materials floating all over the table before we eat dinner. And then lastly, I like these little blank books. These were purchased from the Target dollar spot. They came in a pack of six and they are just empty books with nothing in them. So they can color on them, they can write, they can draw. And then I also always include just a couple of loose sheets of stickers that I have so they can put stickers on them and use them as sticker books. So hers is all packed up and ready to go. Now let's move on to my two-year-old. In hers, I'm putting a coloring book um, she's kind of colored a little bit in here, but she loves dinosaurs and it still has a ton of pages to, left to do. So she's getting a dinosaur coloring book. This came from the Dollar Tree. She is also getting a look and find book. This one is the Alma one. Same concept as the Minnie Mouse one where you find all of the pictures here in the actual picture. This is from the Dollar Tree. I'm putting a blank book in hers too so that she can have some paper. She's been really entertained by these puzzles from the Target spot. I hauled them a while back and they came with like six or eight different puzzles, but they're number puzzles, sequencing puzzles, and you just have to put them in the right order so that they develop the picture. And they're made of this um, kind of cardboard so I can fit a lot into this little case that I also got from Daiso. So someone suggested me doing that. I went and found a bigger case and they fit perfectly. I'm so happy. So we were able to fit all the puzzles right in here and that way I have them all together and she just likes to pick one and she'll do it right there at the table. She also gets a pack of crayons and some drawing pens. And for hers, I'm gonna add something a little bit extra. These are textured rubbing plates. They came from Lakeshore Learning and inside there are 12. And I'm not gonna put 12 in here. I'm just gonna pick out one. I don't know if you can tell or not on the camera, but it has this texture on it. So you put a piece of paper on it and you take a crayon and you rub on it and it'll do a little pattern right on there. So I'm just gonna put one to see how she does with it and see if it keeps her entertained for a little bit. And then lastly, she's learning letter recognition. And so I have these really cool wallet cards. These came from a company called You Guys Are So Awesome. I did a review on these cards not too long ago and they are like the best thing ever. Um, they're made of this really durable plastic that you know is, is great for people who are teething, you know, those little babies that are teething or drooling. But not only that, they have these really gorgeous pictures on them on the front and back. And since she's learning her letters, I thought it'd be really fun to put these in there so we can just do a little review and then talk about the pictures as well. They're on this really great ring so they stay all together and I can just place it right inside here or even on the handle of my kit if I wanted to. All right, so I'm all packed up for our next trip to the restaurant. Let me know what you put in your restaurant kits because I need more ideas, you guys. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.